Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Jasmine here. Today's video is going to be something that has been highly requested and is long overdue. It is my curly hair routine. I'm constantly getting questions about it in my comments and DMs on Instagram and finally I'm filming it for you guys. In today's video you'll see the products I use as well as the three different methods I use on my hair because I do feel like my hair consists of three different hair types which is 3C, 4A, and 4B. So you guys will see my full routine in today's video. Let's get right into it. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to drop them in the comment section below as well as don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get right to it. Okay, so I'm going to be starting out on freshly washed hair. My hair is wet right now even though it doesn't look it. It's just not dripping drenched because I did not want to look like the girl from the ring. But typically when I do come out of the shower, my hair is still dripping wet. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by grabbing a small section of my hair from the back. My hair is so thick that if I don't style my hair into small sections, the product will not be able to saturate every single strand of my hair, which is very important for me when I'm styling. But I'm going to grab my handy dandy spray bottle of water and I'm going to spray this section until it is thoroughly wet for me to detangle this is actually the first year that i've detangled with a comb i was finger detangling for like three years and finally i came to realize that like girl ain't nobody got time for that the first product I'm going to grab is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. It's super hydrating and I feel like it leaves my hair really shiny at the end. I love it. Um, it also gives me good slips so I'm going to start by raking the product into my hair and my goal is to start seeing my curls already start to clump together. Sometimes I will notice if I need to add a little more water in my hair because what I should be feeling is an easy effortless slip while I'm raking and if I don't feel that and it's a little stiff once I start adding the product, I know water needs to be added or else my result at the end will turn out really dry and frizzy. The next product I'm going to use is my holy grail. It's the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. What I'm saying, this product has never let me down. Like I've been using it for years and for me personally, I've not yet found a better product for my hair. So I'm also going to rake the curl enhancing smoothie into the same section. I'm gonna grab these two clippy thingies. Honestly, I don't know the correct name for them, but I'm gonna use them for two things. One, to section my hair from mixing in with the finish section, and two, to help elongate my roots from shrinking as my hair starts to air dry. And now I'm just going to repeat some of the same steps on this section as I did on the last. Okay, so another method I'm going to do now is the shingling slash coiling a few pieces of my hair that I feel like are not easily blending in with the rest and as well also just need a little more definition. So you can kind of feel where the natural curl kind of separates. Um, so I will take that individual piece and twirl it and wrap it around my fingers until it is a little more defined. <laughs> Thank you. 
on this section here, I'm going to use a denim brush. I'm using it on parts of my hair that are more of a 3C, 4A consistency just to kind of help guide my hair into its curl pattern. I do like to make sure that the front of my hair is super defined, so I'm going to coil and shingle once again. You can see that this part of my hair is more of a 3C consistency as the curls are forming without much effort. Because I do use the LCO and the lock method, the next product I'm going to grab is the OGX Nourishing Coconut Oil Hydrating Mist. You can use any oil you like, but I like the spray one because it's super lightweight and I don't have to physically touch my hair and risk making my hair frizzy when applying oil. And as you can see, this bottle is basically done, so I'm going to have to use a raw coconut oil in a bit. So now I'm going to part my hair right down the center. I prefer to have a definite part because I like having the option of putting my hair in a low bun with the middle part, depending on the day. And just parting it when wet and styling it means I don't have to cause any more frizz and tangling at a later date if I were to try and part my hair then. <laughs> And basically, I'm going to continue the same steps on the rest of my hair. Here, I just clip my hair just to keep my hair out of the way. Bye. 
as you can see i'm very heavy handed with the product i love product um i feel like it helps my hair to last longer and reduce frizz so um that's why i put so much product on my hair Okay, my mist is now done, so I'm going to move on to virgin coconut oil. And I'm going to warm the oil up in my hand and scrunch it up into my hair. And of course, at this time, my camera died. But now the side is done, so let's speed through the other side. And as you can see, this side has already started to air dry and is shrinking compared to the other side. And I still have a couple of those clips in the back to try and keep my hair from shrinking too much as it dries. For some reason, my hair in the back shrinks so much more than the rest. I honestly think it's because the top of my head has a looser curl pattern compared to underneath. So the back of my hair ends up shrinking a lot more. And there you have it. I'm going to let the product and my curls set in for a bit. So I'm gonna go clean my house for like an hour or so. And then I will come back and blow dry and diffuse my hair. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, my hair has shrunken up a bit as well as the product isn't as white sitting on top of my hair anymore as my hair has absorbed a lot of the product, which is good. So let's get right into diffusing. So I'm gonna be using this Conair blow dryer with a diffuser headpiece. Uh, this blow dryer is nothing special. I just wanted a blow dryer that had different settings as well as it was pink and cute, but I'm gonna be putting my settings on low speed, high heat. I don't mind that my diffuser touches my hair as I blow dry. I know some people don't like it because it does cause frizz. It is total personal preference, but I'm full hands on as I blow dry. As my ends start to dry, my roots are still damp. A little trick I like to use for shrinkage is I will hold onto the ends and stretch my hair to blow dry the roots just to keep my hair from shrinking up at the roots. And this will help to show a little more length. Get, get, get. 
Does anyone else's room get a little smoky when they blow dry with product or is it just me? So this is what my hair looks like once it's completely dry. It's really flat and boring. So I'm going to tease and fluff and I will be right back. So it is curly, bouncy, soft, hydrated, all the above, everything I love. And there you have it, my curly hair routine. You know, with curly hair, you never know how it's gonna go because curly hair is so unpredictable. But, you know, when it turns out good, it just makes your whole day better. Um, I do have a bit of shrinkage, which is normal. My hair does shrink up after being freshly washed. Um, but it does relax after a couple of days, which is typically how I enjoy my hair. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any comments about hair or anything, let me know in the comments below. But don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.